ಅಸಿತಾಂಗೋರುಶ್ಚಂಡ ಕ್ರೋಧಶ್ಚೋನ್ಮತ್ತ ಭೈರವ ಕಪಾಲೀ ಭೀಷಣಶ್ಚೈವ ಸಂಹಾರಶ್ಚಾಷ್ಟ ಭೈರವ ಓಂ ಹಂ ಶಂ ನಂ ಗಂ ಕಂ ಸಂ ಖಂ ಮಹಾಕಾಲೈರವಾಯ ನಮಃ Namaste. Welcome to Kaivalya Yoga Gurukulam. Thank you for joining the rhythms of Kala Bhairava. Let us move, learn and memorize these stanzas of the sacred chant Kala Bhairava Ashtakam. In this class, the first one, we are going to learn the basics. How to move? What are the steps that are involved as you move? From the next session on, we will introduce the learning component stand with your feet apart perhaps a little wider than your waist if you wish to or you could keep it as wide as your hips all you want to do here is the basic step is you bring take the right foot place it to the center and take it out left foot to the center out it's as simple as that right in out left in out please try it along if you feel comfortable right in out left in out right in out left in out your hands could be on your waist as you do this left in out right in out left in out or your hands could go simple movements okay so this is the basic step all right if you're doing along then you you see anyone should be able to do this you don't have to be a dancer for this now before we go to the next variation please make sure you wear something loose like a loose pajama or a loose track pant if you will a loose t-shirt um i like to dress in tradition because this is a very old sacred mantra and i want to revere that mantra so i want to dress in traditional clothes with vibhuti in my body because vibhuti represents ash the end of everything time ends in ash and therefore and that is what shiva wears on his forehead and he adorns his body with vibhuti so this is in honor of the shiva consciousness that i that i choose to dress like this you're welcome to do as well but if you don't have a dhoti then you could dress in simple loose clothes so it's it's easy for you to move the second variation in this you take the feet not to the center but you take it all the way to the other foot so it goes like this in out in out in out in out in 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 now watch my upper body a slight twist as well if you will if you're doing along you'll get some element of what i'm talking about because we will introduce the beat in a little bit but this is the movement you can do the same thing with your hands on your waist as well this is the second variation the first was simply to the center in out in out the second one you join your feet okay now the third one is a little bounce bouncing knees as you call it you come up a little bit on your toes and you get a little bounce to the whole to the whole step so you go in out right in left in right in a little bounce left in right in left in again your hands go like this left in with a little bounce right in left in right in this is my favorite it's not too difficult it's not too static unless i get very tired i just go back to these steps but otherwise 
Once I learn a line, I begin to enjoy it. Now I'm going to get into the rhythm. I close my eyes, I chant. So you will begin to enjoy this. Okay? That is the third variation, a little bounce. Now the fourth variation, the fourth variation is simply more of a jump. It becomes a little more vigorous. One, two, one, two, one, two. You're jumping on your feet. Now, of course, this is a little vigorous. Om Namah Shivaya. 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 All right? So, again, when you're doing that, you get tired. Come back to this. But you never stop throughout the session. Each session will last anywhere between 15 to 20 minutes, depending on the length of the line, the difficulty of the line, right? So you need to last 20 minutes of continuous movement. So very simple. So at the least, gentle movements. And you're learning, you're focusing. So here's a tip. When you're focusing on the line, don't worry about the movement or variations. Keep it simple, focus on the line, focus on the pronunciation, focus on the screen. The line will be printed out there for you as a title. Read it, understand it, and then begin to repeat it. Once you get the word, once you get the words in uh, clear clarity, then you begin to say, all right, I'm going to enjoy this. Kashika Puradhinatha. Kala Bhairavam Bhaje. And it goes like this. Devaraj Sevyamana Pavanangri Pankajam. So, all of this will come with practice. All it needs is patience and perseverance. All right. Now, let us try it with beat. Watch my feet and simply try these variations. The basic step. It could be as subtle as this. Or it could move a little more. carry light weights in your hand becomes a very good workout as well variation 2 no bounce simple very nice let's do variation 3 with a little bounce Watch my upper body as well. A little grace. It's very trance-like. Just the beat. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. Kashi Ka Pura Dhinata Kala Bhairavam Bhaje. Last one. Try it with caution with a jump. Om Namah Shiva. Om Namah Shiva. And when 
on your side It is as simple as that Thus, we will learn as we move the brain derived neurotrophic factors increase in number the brain becomes alert and then we not only move and do a mindless exercise but we also learn this is a very advanced practice of developing the brain in all its aspects cognition memory and the physical matter in the brain begins to grow the brain cells become active but more than all of this we incur the grace of the supreme being shri kala bhairava Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy this class and I hope you're looking forward to learning the Kala Bhairavashtakam. Thank you. Have a blessed day. Namaste.